The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has received approval from the United States for the Royal Saudi Air Force RSAF, to acquire 2,503 AGM-114 or three Hellfire II missiles. This purchase, valued at approximately $655 million, includes not only the missiles but also additional support and test equipment, integration and test services, spare and repair parts, as well as software delivery and maintenance. Of the 2,503 missiles ordered, three are designated as test missiles, which will be evaluated upon delivery. The primary platform for the Hellfire missiles is the Boeing AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. Additionally, RSAF's AH-6 Little Bird helicopters and MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, will also be equipped with the AGM-114 or three Hellfire II missiles. The AGM-114 or three Hellfire II is a laser-guided precision missile designed to target armored vehicles, bunkers, and other high-value structures. It measures approximately 163 centimeters in length and weighs 49 kilograms. The missile has a range of about 8 kilometers and is equipped with a multifunctional warhead that can be used for both anti-armor and fragmentation purposes. Its laser guidance system allows for precise targeting of both stationary and moving targets, while its modular design ensures compatibility with various platforms, including helicopters, drones, and ground systems. Recent tests of the AGM-114 or 3 Hellfire II have demonstrated its enhanced capabilities. The U.S. Army and Lockheed Martin recently completed tests that focused on the missile's advanced software, guidance system, and multipurpose warhead. These tests highlighted the missile's effectiveness in engaging a wide range of targets, including armored vehicles and structures, even in complex operational environments. One notable test involved launching the missile from unmanned platforms like the MQ-9 Reaper. This simulated real-world combat scenarios, with successful strikes on both moving and stationary targets. These tests aim to refine the missile's lock-on after-launch functionality and improve its flexibility in target engagement. The missile's precision and extended range were central to these trials, underscoring its readiness for broader deployment. The primary users of the AGM-114 or 3 Hellfire II are the armed forces of the United States and its allies. The U.S. military deploys the missile on various platforms, including the AH-64 Apache attack helicopters, which are the primary carriers of the missile. Unmanned aerial vehicles like the MQ-9 Reaper and MQ-1 Predator also use the Hellfire for precision strikes against ground targets. The U.S. Navy launches the AGM-114 from helicopters such as the MH-60 or Slash S Seahawk for anti-ship missions and other target engagements. Special forces use the Hellfire on aircraft like the AC-130 Spectre. Several U.S. allies, including the United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, and Israel, also use the AGM-114 or 3 Hellfire II. The UK integrates it into its MQ-9 Reaper drones, while Saudi Arabia uses it primarily on its AH-64 Apache helicopters. Israel has incorporated the missile into various unmanned systems and combat helicopters for defense operations. Many of these nations deploy the Hellfire for missions targeting tanks, armored vehicles, and fortified sites. In addition to the Hellfire missiles, Saudi Arabia has also received approval to acquire 220 AIM-9X Block II Sidewinder tactical missiles, along with 10,000 M456 series, 105mm high-explosive anti-tank, heat, tracer cartridges. This acquisition also includes a wide range of other ammunition types, including tank, howitzer and machine gun shells, propelling charges, fuses, primers, grenades, support and test equipment, integration and test services, spare and repair parts, software delivery and support, technical publications, and training equipment. The total value of these acquisitions amounts to $390 million. Saudi Arabia has a variety of platforms that can utilize these munitions. 
The AGM 114 or 3 Hellfire 2 missiles are primarily fired from AH 64 Apache helicopters, which are part of the Saudi Air Force and play a critical role in targeting ground forces, such as armored vehicles and fortifications. This combination of advanced missiles and combat helicopters gives Saudi Arabia significant ground combat capabilities. For the AIM 9X Block II Sidewinder missiles, these air to air missiles are integrated into Saudi Arabia's F 15SA fighter jets which are upgraded variants of the F-15 capable of performing complex aerial maneuvers and missions. The Sidewinder is crucial for air combat, providing defense against enemy aircraft and enhancing Saudi Arabia's air superiority capabilities. Additionally, Saudi Arabia uses 105mm M456 high-explosive anti-tank, heat, tracer cartridges on older tanks, like the M60A3, which are part of their ground forces, these munitions are designed to defeat armored targets, contributing to Saudi Arabia's anti-tank capabilities. Other items, such as tank and howitzer shells, along with grenades and machine gun ammunition, are used by platforms like the M1A2 Abrams and M109 Paladin, bolstering the overall firepower of Saudi ground forces.